Good afternoon, everyone. These are my audience members. And I'm going to be telling you my personal experience today. My personal experience is a little upsetting, I guess. Um, my personal experience about is about when my grandfather died. So when I was 14, he was really, he was bad and he had diabetes and everything. But when I was 16 was when he actually died. It really took a toll on everybody in our family. We were all very, very close to him, especially me. I'm named after him. His last name was Gabriel, which is the version, the girl version of Gabriel, which was his last name. And I just, I was always very close to him. I was his favorite, you know, all that fun stuff. And when we all had to go to his funeral, it was very, very hard. But I'm going to start back with the two years when I was 14. He really got bad when I was 14 years old, which was, it's always hard to see somebody you love in pain. It's always so hard. And um, when we would see him in pain, I came to see him every day. Both, both of those summers I would spend time with him when my grandma would either go to the grocery store or to get her hair done, something fun. And she'd be gone for hours and hours and hours at a time. So he, he got thinking and when I was 15, he just kept getting worse and worse and worse, and every day was a struggle, really. But when I was 16, in the beginning of the year, it was so hard. We had a surprise birthday party for my mom, and it was the last time he went out. So we had that, and everybody was so excited to see him. It was, it was a lot of fun. But after that, he really started to get bad it's everything started to go downhill and July 1st was the day that he died I me and my sister he fell into a coma the Friday before that was a Sunday July 1st and he fell into a coma on Friday none of us knew my mom didn't know it was her dad my dad didn't know I didn't know my sister didn't know my brother didn't know so it was Saturday, my brother had a baseball tournament. So after that, my mom and my brother went to see him. And then the, that was a Saturday. And then the Sunday morning, me and my sister went to see him. He died while we were there, which is, I don't know if you've ever seen like a dead body, but that's a very scary thing to see. Like if you see them at like open caskets and stuff like that. But like he was just in there, flesh, blood, everything. It's very scary. I can see it. I can do it in TV shows, but in real life, it's a little scarier than I expected. Um, but then a week from that, we had his funeral and his funeral was an amazing service. I actually spoke at his funeral, which there was a lot going on <laughs> that day. I was so nervous. I'll never forget speaking because it was so nerve wracking. I thought one of us should speak from the family. So I spoke, I got up in front of over a hundred people. And I spoke to about him and how much I loved him. All of our memories. I said if I, if I say all of our memories, I will we will be here till Christmas, probably, <laughs> or forever. We have so many memories together. He is my favorite person in the entire world. I don't know how like he always supported me in everything. Um, I don't know how I'm still going on without him. I miss him every single day of my life. I wish he was still here to see everything that I'm doing now and. Just everything that's going on in my life I'm I miss him so much I miss him every day and I wish he was here I love him more than anything else in the world he's the best he was the best person in my life and he's always in my heart forever I love him so much and I miss him more than anything else thank you